See what the nigga say about Kay. Kay, you up, baby? So, we back up in this thing. And yes, uh, ultimate badness. Next battle up, this would be Lou Castro versus Kid Chaos. Now, this battle right here, this battle right here was pretty solid. It was pretty solid. I actually like it. It was entertaining to me. But um, my surprise of this battle is uh, Lou Castro. Yeah. Uh, and he's you, got and you know he's trending, right? Trending. What up, world? It's your boy, B.A. For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up, Media Salute, Salute, Salute. Uh, so, <laughs> we back up in this thing, yes, yes. Uh, salute to Smack White, yes, sir. Salute to Beasley, salute to Chico, salute to that whole URL staff. We see y'all, salute to all of y'all, yes, we do. We totally do, but anything, anyways, with that being said, a card is, uh, they just dropped the card. Uh, called the URL Sterilized Part 2. Ah! Part 1 was dope. Now, for those of you who are not in the loop or whatnot, casual fans, etc. So, this card is going to be, a, these are going to be a one-offs uh, on the rooftop. So, this is one-on-one -on, -one on a rooftop. No buy, no, no crowd, no nothing, just face-to-face. -face. Ah! Bringing it back to the essence. Yeah, yeah, the essence of battle rap. For those of you who don't know what essence mean, hey, that's why we got Google. Go Google that thing. But anyways, with that being said, uh, getting into that first battle that I want to talk about. You feel me? Um, the uh, the T-Top versus Mike P. Ah. Yeah, yeah. This battle. Oh, ah. Uh, we got, we, we got, we got the, we got the bear. Mr. Hunting Accident versus Mike P. Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, I was once suicidal. Ah, ah. Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Pokemon, Mr. Street Fighter, Mr. All of that. Ah, Mr. Anime. That's your nickname, Mike P, aka Mr. Anime, because that's what you rap about in a lot of your bars. Yeah, I listen. I'm a trained listener. I've been listening for a while. Ah, but with that being said, uh, if I had to choose a winner for this battle, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go T Top. Why is that? I'm picking T Top over Mike P because I um, I just uh, we haven't been hearing T Top a lot lately, and he has one of those styles that we uh, that as battle rappers uh, we miss. You feel me? As battle rap fans, should I say we miss seeing? Uh, he's energetic, got a lot of charisma. Mike P is dope too, but I like Mike P with uh, with, with with bigger crowds. I like Mike P with bigger crowds. But as far as small rooms. Um, yeah, I'm going to go T-Top. Even though Mike P, even though these quarantine times Mike P been doing all right, I'm still going to go T-Top. T-Top, what T-Top just did to Tay Rock, ah. A lot of people were like, nah, T-Top was, uh. Nah, T-Top did his thing. He made me a believer. He made me a believer. So, so much of a believer, I had to get my bars up. And yeah, we sipping that grown man too, so don't hate. <laughs> don't hate. But uh, next up, we have... Gichi Gotti versus Chilla Jones. Uh, this battle in particular, ah, this is a tough one, y'all. Uh, Gichi Gotti uh, is 2020s, uh, was 2020s, well, 2019, should I say, um, champion of the year. Um, ah, ah, Chilla Jones coming out of uh, coming out of his last battle was fire. Ah, Chilla Jones had a fire 2019 as well. Even though they say he lost the belt controversy, whatever, when he with KOTD, but Chilla Jones is fire. With that being said, ah, Geechee's gonna have to rap. We gonna story. He gonna story tell. We know he gonna story tell, but he gonna have to rap on that roof. And since this is a different dynamic, if, was, if this was on stage, you feel me uh, at a gnome or something, then I would definitely go Geechee because Geechee feeds off of the energy of the crowd. You dig? Um, and. Since it's a small room, I gotta go Chilla. I gotta go Chilla. Chilla has been on a, it's been on fire to me. He's been on fire. His last two, three battles have been. He's been doing his thing. He's been definitely doing his thing. Sorry, Geechee. Sorry, prove me wrong, sir. But I'm gonna have to go with Chilla. Uh, next up, Danny Myers versus New Jersey Twerk. We're gonna make this short, sweet, fast. I know it's a lot of Twerk stands out there. I rock with Twerk. I like Twerk. But Twerk has been rapping for five years, and we uh, still, within this five years, 
we're still talking about, man, he has the potential to do this and be that. Hey, man, he's been rapping for a long time now. With that being said, the bar guy versus Mr. Strapped In. I'm going to go with the bar guard. I got Danny taking this battle. I think Danny is uh, is a lot more is a lot more hungrier. And uh, Danny has been actually out here sparring for real with uh, on different leagues. You feel me? As far as video battles, quarantines, making sure his bars stay sharp. Uh, New Jersey Twerk, his last quarantine battle, his last couple of quarantine battles, he recycled. Like, recycled hard. You dig? On key lines. With that being said, I just don't. Twerk, I'm not knocking them. And I'm not going to say anything more bad about Twerk. We're going to salute to them both, though. Salute to them both. I got Danny Myers. Uh, I got Danny Myers uh, taking that battle. Next up, JC versus Emerson Kennedy. Ah! This is, ah, this is tough. This is tough. We have two pins. We have two really, really exceptional writers. You feel me? Uh, Emerson Kennedy. Representing that West, coming out of that Utah, JC coming out of that Pontiac, that Midwest. Uh, if I had to choose one, most of the most of everybody that I've been seeing, as far as their recap, I'm not recaps, but as far as their predictions and talking about this, have been saying JC automatically. That's what a lot of people have been saying. Even my fellow, uh, my my fellow Westerners, you feel me, representing that West Side. Uh, they've been saying, they've even been saying that too. Uh, but I'm going to go with Emerson Kennedy with the upset. You feel me? I think Emerson Kennedy is going to have an upset. And I think, I don't even want to call it an upset because Emerson Kennedy has been in the game for a minute and he's been doing his thing for a minute now as well. But um, I got I got EK with this one, y'all. JC, Mr. Yak Town. Prove me wrong. Yeah, I said Yak Town because Yak Town is Pontiac, Michigan. And even though Ill Will is from there, JC is from there too. But anyways, ha, I don't I don't know nothing about battle rap, remember? Even though I've been doing this for a couple of years, uh, for actually I said a couple of years. Been vlogging for about three, four years now, but ah, been watching battle rap for about 20. But anyways, uh next up, Rum Nitty versus Franchise. Ugh. <laughs> This is, I think this is going to be a classic. This is going to be a classic. I actually think that this battle right here will probably be the best battle. Uh, will be the best battle out of these. Uh, well, this and the next battle that I'm going to mention. But this battle, I think, is going to be a classic. I think Franchise, we haven't heard Franchise in a minute. And Franchise is one of them battle rappers that um, we can't hear him. We don't want to hear him in his, in his uh, no lacking every card but we miss a few cards he pops up we miss that energy he starts spitting we're gonna hey, ah we're gonna like what he's talking about ah but with that being said rum nitty pound for pound has been uh the best battle rapper in battle rap probably for the last couple of years um pound for pound wise uh as far as as far as um popularity probably not but as far as like all like overall overall everything, Rum Nitty is one of the best to ever do it. So I can't go against Rum. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Franchise. You're my guy. I hope you represent that Canada well, sir. I hope you represent that Canada well once you step up and do what you're supposed to do. But anyway, um, yeah, I got I got Rum Nitty taking that uh, versus Franchise. Remember, these are rooftop, y'all. These are rooftop. They're going to be in each other's faces barking. Barking. Ah! Anyways, last but not least... The Saga versus B Dot. Mm, we're gonna sip to this one because this is another tough one. So I seen the Saga versus Cortez. A lot of people are like, man, that was a great battle. To me, it was okay. It wasn't that great to me. But that EK, <laughs> the last, I mean, not, not EK, I'm sorry, the, uh, the last B Dot battle, though. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna have to go with B dot, y'all. Sorry, Saga. Sorry, I like you, Saga. Saga, you dope. You feel me? You wanted to actually, actually, you were one of the best to do it. And last year, you were arguably top ten. Last year, you feel me? 2019, you were top ten. If not top ten, you were top fifteen. You were definitely top fifteen of, of last year. One of the best in the world. But the way that B dot has been on, um, he's been on a little streak. 
his last couple of battles during his quarantine, uh, during his quarantine time. And with that being said, uh, ah, he's been having his bars up. He's been having, he's definitely been having his bars up. But with that being said, uh, I'm gonna go B dot. Definitely B dot. I like you. I, I I like the saga. I think the saga is great. You feel me? And I think that he's gonna even he's gonna get even better. You feel me? Because he still has room to grow. Same with B dot. I think he's gonna get better too. But for some reason, I at my last I gotta go with what I last seen. And uh, the last B dot battle on that rooftop was freaking crazy. Uh, that was one of the best B dots that I ever seen. You did. Uh, but with that being said. Those are my predictions for this URL Sterilized 2 Rooftop Battles. I'm hoping that it's going to be Magnificent Fire. I'm, I'm betting on it to be. Uh, so we will definitely see who will, um, uh, who will what the best battles are going to be and who's going to actually show out. You feel me? I'm, I'm waiting on that. I'm excited. I'm very excited, actually. Anyways, this is your boy, BA for Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me, I rock with you. And if you're out there, hey, just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not stumbled upon my page and I've been doing this for a minute, then all I can truly say is thank you for coming. Get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular card and tell me who y'all think is going to be the battle of the event and who's going to be the battle rapper of the event. And who's going to have the best rounds? Me? Ah, like I said, uh, that Rum Nitty and Franchise, for some reason, I think they're both are going to punch a hole in the culture. I think they're both going to punch crazy and talk crazy. So I'm, I'm excited about that one. But all of these black battles are fire overall. But anyways, y'all be blessed. Holla at your boy. Um, and shit, stay safe. Salute.